what is going on everybody welcome back to another video tonight we are continuing on to part three of nobody wants to die i was a little worried about this one because my pc when it got fixed they did a complete wipe of everything they had to reinstall windows uh they said that they transferred over some data or all my data but for some reason it didn't work properly uh luckily I was able to have some data left over for Nobody Wants to Die so I can continue on with the story. Uh, Blair Witch, however, did not work out that way, so I'm going to have to start that from the beginning, work my way up to where we left off, and then continue on throughout uh, that series with the videos. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, get started with uh, Nobody Wants to Die Part 3. Waking Sarah up for a drunken call was as healthy as my usual cigarette dinner. But I needed this conversation. And something told me she needed it too. Anyway, it was a nice contrast with all these conversations that leave me hung over even when I don't drink. Oh no. Yeah. That's not good. Oh ho holy crap. We are trashed. Oh, someone's got a gun. Atmosphere. We gather around the fire, sing songs, argue about politics. Thanks to the charade, you've lied to yourself for another year that your life matters. Shit. I have to go home. <laughs> All right. So we need to make our way down here. There we go. Contamination of the shell is alarmingly above all norms. All right. I know. I know. The synchronization test will take place soon. Please do not leave the apartment for the next 24 hours. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, but how do I get to where I need to go? There we go. Okay. Where are the Oh no. We did not make it to the decontamination. Oh, we are crawling. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, jeez. You can't just like just sit there and die. We got to do something, right? Don't you already know who the murderer is? How did I? <laughs> no, I don't. Hey, doesn't the hero die at the end? Uh. Yes. But he's trying. And when will you cuff me? You want me to cuff you? Don't you want to? Yeah, kinda. If I don't get up from this couch and grab my drugs, I'll die. Yeah. Drugs right. should be in the kitchen. Okay, the come restroom. on. I think they were... Upstairs. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh my god, okay, it's occupied. Um Let's 
let's look upstairs real quick. Oh, if I can get upstairs. There we go. And it looks like they're empty. Damn, empty. I think I had- In ancient cultures, the Moirai were an allegory of destiny. They represented the brutal laws that governed the world and only exceptional mortals could gently influence them. No, that sounds weak. Empty. There's nothing in this one either. What? I won't get rid of this hologram unless you take me there. Copy that. I really. You look terrible lately. Try to smile a little, just a little bit. Okay, but I'm trying to get to my drugs. Can you let me, please? There we go. Please let there be some in here. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Take the pills. Take them if you got them. Oh, luckily we do. Okay, but aren't we still supposed to do the decontamination thing? I guess not. Attention, the sink test is ready. Immediately approach the Hestia module. Huh? Oh. All right, here we go. It's like an ink block test. Logged. James, Kara, welcome <coughs> back. I'm starting the synchro test. Please take a deep breath and imagine a safe space. Feel the ground under your feet. Okay. Oh, wow. Excellent. Very literally, but... Perfect. It's a baseball Please diamond. A Which chair would I like? Yeah. This one's Our own yeah. death is a difficult experience that we naturally repress from consciousness. In order to enable smooth functioning in the new body, we need to remember the last moments of our lives and And together face the trauma of the last death. Yes, I know. Sorry. Before we get to the point, please recall the first death. It was just an injury. I just changed my body. My old shell went to the Hall of Fame. It looks pretty good there. Please hmm. start calibration process. This is very interesting. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, now we got back up a little bit. There we go. Calibration is successful. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go to the memories. It's time to confront them. Proceed to the next stage. The key to synchronization is the ability to put the past into perspective. Please try to do this. There we go. Your abilities and career. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about buying a Synchro Plus program? Thanks. I can't afford it. No worries. Common tests work just as well. Please continue. Wonder if I actually have to go up here. Yep. Synchronize with the new shell like I did with my original. Positive rate threshold is 80%. Maybe for you. In sports, a fraction of every percent counts. You 
found a new purpose in life. <laughs> Finding yourself in a new reality is a huge challenge. Turns out I have a knack for this job. Do you miss your job? You don't even realize. Let's move on to the last death event. Okay. All right, here we go. It seems that the complexity of the trauma will not allow us to continue. I can handle it. Synchronization is a process, not an act. Try to isolate minor events using all your senses, or stop and extend the recovery period. No. I, uh, I'll remember. I'll get it from my memory. Some shine, grease, burn, and... Excellent. Seriously? So what do I do? Oh, right here, okay. It's a big gun? I had a chance. Yep. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay, so... Do I need to go this way? That's the... Press caps to enter hint mode. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I still kind of still have to remember some of the controls. It's been a little bit since I played this last. Okay, so I need to get up there. How do I do that though? That's the question. Oh, here we go. So I need to climb up right here. Powerful explosion. I think it derailed the train. My ears were ringing and... Fuck! I don't remember. What about Seth and the one you were chasing? Can you focus on them? Try. So maybe I gotta go this way now? Let's see. Okay, there we go. Whoa! Oh wow. I knew he got hit hard. But this James, do you blame yourself for what happened to him? We got a lousy job. He knew the risks. But I was his partner. He relied on me. Oh, wow. Unstable simulation. We'd better stop for today. 
All right? Now? When do I get a chance to pass the damn test? I won't let this go. I can't. I'll finish it, and I'll be back where I belong. Okay. So, here we go. That's us. Attention. Dynamic element detected. Weird. James, it's dangerous. It could be projection, not recollection. What projections? This is my fucking window. Oh shit. We recommend staying home. Your mental state is very strained and you need time to recuperate. How long until I'm back to work? From 9 to 12 months. Oh. Estimates may change. Fuck. Damn, that's a long time. Sarah, fucked up. I don't know how to say this, but I think I'm admitting guilt. What? What happened? Is everything all right? What have you done? I just I can't do anything. I have no chance to go back. James. No. I'll finish the case. I won't leave it like this, but I won't drag you down with me. I'm sorry for earlier. I'll cover all traces. I can't drag everyone down all the time. You didn't deserve it. Whew. Wow, that's very kind of you. Excuse me? You're such a drama queen sometimes. What did you think? I'd leave it like that? I'll leave you with it? I have a few leads to discuss. Really? <laughs> You're the only person in this town who wants to know what's going on. Let's get busy then. Hell yeah. All right. Also, again, I probably mentioned this in past videos of me playing this game or any other cinematic, kind of more movie-ish type games. I just, I get sucked into the story and I'm not as talkative, so uh, I apologize for that. Or if you enjoy less talking, then that's that works too, so... Okay, I'm confused. Oh, okay. All right. Log in. This again. Oh man, I'm terrible with these. Building right after Green's death is more than just a lucky break. Lucky? For us, definitely not for them. You know exactly what I mean. Let's start with the connection between the Green case and the Icarus shooting. Okay. Vanishing points. What do the Green's case and the school and wow, and the shootout on Icarus have in common? That I don't remember. Miller, the man with an encrypted Icarite arms dealer and owner of an elite security company. Hmm. That tell you something? Shit. Too many copper phase conductors with polyvinyl insulation. Uh, what? <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> I still don't know how he encrypted the Icarite. Why do something like that? 
to avoid answers when your corpse turns up in an inconvenient situation. Chief's errand boy. I wonder how big his stable was. Motherfuckers. I still can't believe it. At least their plans will take a while longer. Turn to a crisp. <laughs> was that laughter? <laughs> no. <laughs> was the toxicology of the rest clean? Well, I wouldn't say that, but it was normal for this social class. The famous psychologist back in the circle of suspects. Uh, more on the periphery. That damn snake again. It looks fresh this time. Probably made on the day of the massacre. You've identified him. Great. Yeah, it's a developer named Travis Collette. Travis Collette? Bonjour, Travis. Travis Collette. Travis Collette. James. <clears throat> Sorry. So the watch with a photo was an evidence of a friendly quarrel between Kovalev and Green? They were obviously very close. Let's try this one. And... Nope. Serpent symbol... Maybe... Technical plans? Nope. Okay, no. Let's try this one. Wow, okay. Hmm, earlier leads indicated he was a friend of Green's. That doesn't work either. Wait, did that work? Okay. So let's go ahead and kind of spread this out a bit to where it's kind of more organized. So let's do these right here, this right here, and this one right here. And we'll kind of straighten this out a bit right here. Okay. All right. Like two drops of water, another similarity between Kovalev and Green did the same thing happen to Koval... Kovalu? I don't know. Pick up clue, break... Okay. Um... So I'm, I'm assuming it's still all things tied to Green? Nope. I doubt this is gonna work. Oh wow! Access to the CTC registers. Just checked. It worked. Right, never made it there, which means that this is another. This is another final death. They both left this world, and they left behind quite a mess. Do you think they managed to carry out the plan from Green's letter? All we know is they gave their lives for it. Could anyone here know Green and Kovalev were up to something? Damn good question. Let's check. I'm going to adjust this again, kind of give us more room. There we go. I think that's looking a little better. And we will drag this one right. Uh, I'll do it right here for now. Okay. Next step. Could anyone here have known Green and Kovalev were up to something? Let's try this guy. No. Hmm. Salma again. She might have known something. Would Kovalev have let her go then? She could pull strings. 
All the more reason for Kovalev to take her down, right? Let's try this. As the chief's trusted man, he must have known about Green's death. Just what was he looking for here? All right, the drink motive. No coincidence, he dropped in here for a drink. As a cop and the chief's boy, he'd know about Green's death. What has he, what was he up to? Okay. Hmm. Mm. Body axe plants to lower the age. Let's use this one. Sarah, can you check what building this is? How am I supposed to do that? This is just a small section. Oh, I need more to work with here. Let's put this one right here. Then this will go right here. Okay, so unclear plans. He was making a deal for plans for an installation in some building. What's he need them for and which building? There we go. That was actually a lot easier this time around. Okay, let's put you right here, you right here, and you. Oh, well, we can't move it. Let's conclude the analysis real quick. Shit. So Dean was buying the blueprints for Green's apartment from Colette. And Colette didn't know about Green's death. And that order not to board Icarus. You think Dean was following the chief's orders? Dean may have been working for someone else. The chief does his job as best he can. The chief has been bought. Uh, say one. We can't Cause... rule out that Dean was working for someone else. Like who? And what the hell do Green's plans have to do with it? Let's focus on the second question. You think we missed something at Green's? Everything points to that. As long as everyone's focused on the riot now, the apartment should be empty. Great. Let's finish what we started. Hell yes. Complete. Repair cost and fine nine hundred thirty-eight dollars. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Don't wait for me with dinner. Wait. All right. After our little nightly talk, I knew I wasn't alone in all this. Sarah may have been only a voice in my earpiece, but it was a voice of integrity and reason, which was. What I needed at times, and which could be switched off at other times, and unlike other such voices, without grabbing a bottle. All right, so the story keeps on getting interesting and James, more interesting. Can I send you a sleeping bag? Get a move on. Turn on the camera. <laughs> Stand back. The Fed secured the entrance. Could you? On it. You get excited <laughs> when you do something illegal. I'm in rehab, so don't tempt me. Your file interests me. It's going to be hard to find anything. I'd like to see your file. <laughs> I erased it. Good luck with that. <laughs> I have my ways. Ready. Green Tower. All right, we're back at this again. Where it begins. You watch too many movies. So what are we looking for? A red X. Okay. Any ideas? Find a place marked on the map. Find the place marked on the map. Okay. Can we? Oh well. That helps. So how <laughs> we need to figure out a way to get around to that. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Now the fucking safe. Did they just clean it out? Are you sure it's this safe? 
Uh, they took it already. Do you see something else? See something else? Nothing. Empty. Just like my account. Get out. Can you check what they took? You know, it's not like I didn't break the law this week, so I'll see. <laughs> Wait. James. It's not about the safe. You just said the it's pressure out. sensitive, where you gotta like press something they to open it up. Out. What do you want us to do? X-ray it? Yeah. Good idea. <sighs> Why am I saying anything? It is a great idea. Ah. See? Cables lead somewhere. Probably to the washing machine. Over. Oh, there's some interference. Can you repeat? Hello? Yes? The storm's coming. The electronics are freaking out. Where, where do they lead? What? What? To the electricity. God, never mind. Okay, so I gotta figure out what I'm supposed to do next. Okay, so there's something red there, so why can't I do... Hold on. Oh, okay. Now it's showing over here. There we go. This is a large generator for such a small safe. This isn't a generator. You sound like an expert. This is a refrigerator? I was helping my cousin repair pneumatics like this. <laughs> Tech from a mortal era. Rich people love automated shit in their homes. We still don't know what this device is for. Just keep looking. There we go. Doesn't make sense. Maybe we're missing something. The safe? I'll lock him up. And here he scores a few points. Points? For what? This engine could push a car up past 120 miles per hour. <laughs> running on gasoline. <laughs> on the ground. You know, it's hard enough to imagine driving on the ground and all. But 120? <laughs> no. I call bullshit on that one. Next, we have a card. Bingo, the first rich dude's secret wall safe of my career. Oh, <laughs> you should be a thief. I'm building my resume. <laughs> nice to see you develop. Hey, fuck you. This is my idea. Don't push it. Open sesame. All right. Let's see what kind of goodies we can find. Oh shit. James, what is happening? Sarah? Oh fuck. <laughs> That's so not good. In a private dungeon. And perhaps it holds a stamp collection. Another victim. Just more questions. Okay. Brian Theodore Coven. What are you doing here? If it wasn't for his donations, orphanages in the city would disappear. Okay, hide camera. Wait, there's another photo I need to take, apparently. Okay, so here we go. Formal dress. A meeting? With a murderer? With Green? Let's check where you came from, Coven. Hell yes. And he got destroyed. What? Oh no. 
Uh oh. Oh crap. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're falling. No, we don't. James? I tried to or maybe we do, we just don't remember. Get up. Come on. Let's go. Oh, dude. That's making me feel dizzy. James, I thought you had joined the noble ranks of the dead. How do you? Who? Where are you? Why don't we start with where you are? Governor, sans pants, prestigious guest list, Chris Everson. Even my idiot neighbor has a bumper sticker. Wonder what he thinks about him in the law now. <laughs> Discovered clues. Hmm. Anna Turner. Used to be a sports writer. We had some interesting interviews when my team was winning. Then she got into politics and became editor of the whole paper. You had your last deadline. Okay. Evidence located. Where? Wait. Oh, here's something. This company. I'm asking the questions this time. Sorry, it's too late. Lagoyevich, journalistic scum. Confused. Why are you still needing me to take pictures of this? There He's we go. Under it. I'll pick him up and find out who it is. Maybe I can lift the chandelier. All right. Using the reconstructor again. Why did he fall? Where's the killer? Here we go. Shot. Needs a closer look. The Emperor of Screens. Make that god. There's no movie studio that doesn't kiss his ring. Maybe a little lower. He influences more people than you think. What is this? Everybody lies. They learn to live a lie. Here. 
Where's the damn killer? How did they die? Losing your nerve. Never mind. He was standing here before the chandelier fell on his head. What did you do to deserve your mask? Maybe you actually wore it every day. Oh. Oh, I already picked that up. Okay, so. Who brings a gun to a fancy party? Fucking lack of culture. <laughs> oh. Eight millimeter. Are you sitting here with a loaded gun? Think twice before inviting a paranoia case. The shootout started. You probably didn't consider that. Are you sure? He shot the killer. Was that... How are you feeling? Better every <laughs> minute. Here we go. He aimed toward the piano. here lots of glass under your feet and nothing around the killer had plenty of time to cover all traces Critics sitting with a propagandist. Yeah, burn it all down. Government critics sitting with a propagandist. Yeah, burn it all down. Okay. Shoe print. Maybe he ran? Where was the killer? Alright, um, reconstruct. asshole was doing <laughs> I wish it would just let me keep the flashlight on though why in this direction it doesn't make sense it's too rich for my blood oh a broken bottle did you chase the guy with it I can respect <laughs> that where were you sitting maybe the glass shards will show me Um, all right, let's go back a bit. Bingo. So you were sitting here. So he was back here. Bullets were flying everywhere. 
What made you do that? the middle of it all well better to do something than nothing at all in a situation like that although as you can see this is no guarantee of success when he was done running he fell limply maybe he died in flight oh I think I'm going, yep, going the wrong way. There we go. Wait a minute. Use x ray. All right, well, let's follow the bullet trail. There we go. He shot at Blagojevich. Low. Maybe Blagojevich saw Cadis and liked both their odds better. Did you feel a cold sweat on your back? It would take more than that. Right. You were lucky with that chandelier shot anyway. Oh, oh no. Did you do this? Someone's being paranoid here. It's just fucking wiring. Which gets in the way of my work. Need more light. Who's Sarah? What? You mumbled her name when you... Glass? A lot of shrapnel? Where did it come from? I'll get back to that. Must be powering something big. Uh, let's see what happens when we connect this contraption. <laughs> Couldn't you just keep the skeletons in the regular closet like the rest of us? What the hell? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, let's see if I need to do this one. Yeah, I think this is the one I have to do right here. Reconstruct. Maybe? I don't know where the damn glass came from. What uh, the hell? Me today. Are these the ones I saw in holograms? Let's start with the photos. Hmm. I don't know you. They slaughtered him and bled him for fun. Is it an Icarite? No. It's impossible. Must be some kind of imitation. Are you sure? It's time for pictures of your friend. Same weapon? Yeah, nine millimeter. And empty. You were shooting blindly at Cadis. Um. Oh, here. Senator 
Patricia Terrence. Oh, this is rich. They've been trying to make her out to be a terrorist for decades because she wanted to change the world. It turns out that they're all on one payroll. <laughs> yeah. So there's three clues. But I only see one here, so oh, right here. Blood trail. And anything else? Um Hmm. Oh, right here. The room looks burnt. Someone was shooting at close range. How did it all start? Was she the one who murdered him? Let's start with who the hell that guy is. You know that by solving this case, you're helping cover it up. Aren't you tired of these games? What's your point? I want to help you. Sure, because you're such a noble guy, right? On Icarus, you couldn't do the right thing. Let me show you whose side you picked. How fucking kind of you. Who's this guy on the bed? Pretty much everyone here knows each other. Drake Star. I thought he was using a different body, the actor and the senator's husband. They've always been inseparable. He looks like a victim. I wouldn't go all in on that. There can be ecstasy in death. It's uh, an expensive fetish. Nine millimeter, same assailant. Looks like the victim bled out before he got shot. Maybe the killer lost his shit. Lots of moving targets. He had to be in a rush. He could have left additional bullet marks. That kind of trail could help me figure out where he was firing from. Where was the killer shooting from? Okay. Oh, here we go. It went straight through. Another casualty of your sick shit. Imitation made from eco marble. I admire all forms of art, especially when it helps to establish a shooting position. Okay, so it's coming from over here. There we go. Is my couch. Suddenly a shooter appears and takes out our star. Almost bled out before you shot him. Are you suggesting there was more than one killer? Unlike the rest, this one was murdered voluntarily. However fucked up that sounds. How did the senator die? The senator used him as a shield. 
Oh shit. She gets hit and plays dead. Smart move. Oh, too far. Oh, she's going for the knife. Toy. Sharp. Senator must have held it. Drake's blood. And maybe yours too. Oh. Don't worry. I'm fine. Mm. She was always ready to fight. That's why people believed in her. Yeah, but she's going to stab someone. Okay. Was she waiting for her moment? Oh, there's someone behind. Oh no, that's the statue. Okay, knife analyze. Drake had type O negative blood. This is a different type. She surprised you? Oh shit. Tom blood. Burned skin. They had to struggle, but he had the upper hand. A nine millimeter beats a piece of steel. She crawled away. Didn't you notice? Something else catch your attention? <laughs> I can tell you that oh. she got you. I'm stuck. Vote. I need to go back a little bit so I can get unstuck. There we go. Okay. Ribs. You crushed her when you fell on her, and she still didn't give up. You underestimate me. At least I understand the low position you shot Blagojevich from. And remember, Kata shot in this direction. Good to know that not everything goes your way. It's going great. Trust me. So you scurried away like a cockroach. A bullet from a revolver. Probably Cadis's. I wonder how that got here. They almost got you. You had to find a way. And you did. Real fancy. Planning to kill that chandelier. <laughs> Lucky. But respect where it's due. Also a really good shot. You made it. But I'd like to see your face after that. Your real face. Covered in blood and drool, twisted in fear. I think it was any different than yours when you came in here. You're always watching me, aren't you? Monitoring? Watching me with cameras, the holograms. Somehow they were recorded. These holograms must be stored somewhere. There must be some tapes here. But where? They were... Okay, X-ray. So I gotta follow this one. So 
So it goes over here. There we go, okay. There we go. Let's see where you take me. There. Another. This must be a dead end. Okay, so. Okay, where did Green hide the monitoring center? So we're still looking for that. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now. There we go. Okay, um... Oh, here we go. Nice. There you go. Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, shit. Yeah, this place is massive, that's for sure. So, Mount Olympus comes with a pocket Hades, a frozen hell where people pay the price for the god's eternal hangover. Oh shit. I recognize this body. It should belong to an actor with his throat slit. Take a right in this one. Age 21. There's some unknown kid. The former owner of the stabbed body. The youngest bodies possible. No certificates. First subscription age. If they didn't pay it, they could lose their bodies. But Icarites. Why isn't anyone looking for them? Orphanages. That's why Green and Coven funded them so generously. Only until they turned 21, of course. Motherfuckers. Hey, go back to the beginning. Edward Green. What did you have on him? Look around. Do you really think anyone would need... Green was probably using the recordings for blackmail. No matter how much evil was around, Green would still grab them by the balls. Better focus on you. You have your five fucking minutes of fame. I warn you that I may disappoint you. Wait, what? This is Green. Senator. His back. He's the one killing Paul. It doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense to me. Did you force him to do it? How the fuck did you do that? What did you have on him? That's your job. I don't want to get overly involved. I'm not your cheap little slum secretary, Sarah Kai. What? How the fuck did you get her full name? Did you think you're the only? What I spend time with. Sarah, you there? Fuck. I've restored the power. That should work. 
<laughs> if you do anything to her, I'll find you and take you apart piece by piece. Don't keep me waiting. Shit. Fucking Icarite transmitter. You want to try it out? Fuck you. I'm not like them. All right, we gotta go find Sarah. It's getting really intense. <laughs> my earpiece was even more overwhelming than my own stupidity. When I was gallivanting in hell, the murderer emerged from there to get Sarah. All right. I let myself be tricked like this. That looks awesome. Wow. Slum. Okay. More or less where she lived, not how she lived. I would say below poverty line. If not for the fact that I've crossed the poverty line a hundred levels up, somehow I have to find her. The question is, what are my taxes being spent on? Sarah needs electricity. Lots of it. These converters look new. Wow. These cables come out of the converter. Sarah, where are you? be operational. Sarah needs to communicate somehow. I need to get a closer look. Oh wow, that's awesome. That's amazing.
Here we go. It's not letting us use the flashlight for some reason. What is this place? There we go. I cannot wait to uh, find this guy and kill him. Damn it, we need to go get more pills whenever we get a chance. This kind of turned into a horror game, which is kind of cool. Did I just see someone moving up? Oh shit! Dude, are we getting shot at? We are getting shot at. What? I don't want to shoot because I think it's Sarah. <sighs> but I have to shoot. James, James, can you hear me? Oh. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Cool it now. It's me, Sarah. We're good. We're good. Just relax. Okay, I thought we died. What in the actual fuck's going on? I thought some junkie broke into my house. Sorry. <sighs> ah. I'm almost finished stitching you up. Could you almost finish faster? <laughs> How'd you find me? You know I'm a detective, right? I didn't think anyone would bother trying to find me. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Stay still. Why did you come here? Uh... When we lost contact, I thought he got you. So that's why you busted in here like a psycho? On a hunch? But more than a hunch. Meaning? I have some questions, too. One, actually. 
You should be in your first shell. A comfortable and efficient one. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Someone's fallen into bad company. This body must have been through half a century of addiction. It'll drop dead before I get used to it. So are you going to tell me where you got it? My family thinks I'm away. I got the best synthesizer, remote work equipment. I didn't have to explain myself to anyone. And then fucking James Kara had to waltz in here and ruin everything! I'm good at that. So what have you gotten yourself into? It's a long story. And complicated. Good thing I'm a professional at complicated stories. Fuck. I didn't want to. But I had no choice. I... I did something sketchy, but otherwise. Hmm. It's all right. You can trust me. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I rented my body on the black market. Seriously? I'm not judging. I just... What is this, an interrogation? No, fuck you. Trying to see if there's anything else I can like Those interact with. Are funny. <laughs> All right, let's go back in here. Wait, there's some right here. My fucking emotions management issues. <laughs> what are these figurines? that after an Icarite transplant, especially an illegal one, some can be lost. That one's the most valuable. digging and we dug until we unearthed this little statue of liberty figurine it was beaten up but valuable and we fenced it right away and we came back here hoping to find more so, nobody was 
just looking after you. Go on your own fast in the slums, because you can either afford children or you can afford new bodies. Not both. I was ahead of my family by the time I was 15. We found out there used to be a museum here. So we dug more, day after day, till our hands were bloody. But we kept digging for normal people. A portrait of misery, desperation. But for Taylor, we were adventurers on a fucking treasure hunt. We glued, fixed, and sold everything we found. Would you believe we, we excavated this whole place like a pair of underage slum archaeologists. It must have taken a while. Almost five years, but it was our livelihood. We were dirt poor and surrounded by dirt. We felt rich. At least until Taylor tricked me. Oh, shit. Your sister. No. We were in love. I remember exactly when she tricked me. Because it was when I turned 21. First subscription. And Taylor paid for it for me. She did it behind my fucking back. After a month, her subscription expired. And we were broke. And there was no one to help. She wound up in the bank. In the body went to auction. And that's why I have to get her out. No matter what it takes. You're the detective. Now you know my motive. anywhere anything higher octane I'll pour us something or you can also help yourself to ambrosia in the bedroom all right You deserve answers, lots of them. But first, you deserve an apology. I lied to you. I haven't gone anywhere. I tried everything to get Taylor out. I didn't want you involved because it was too dangerous. <clears throat> the fact that you're reading this is proof. I'm sorry I left you. Sorry I didn't say anything. And sorry I didn't make it. I only ask one thing, and I've thought about it carefully. If I can't live without Taylor... I want to dream with her. I believe we'll dream together in the bank. Don't pull me out. Love, Sarah. P.S. I sorted everything for you. The items are below, marked with your names. Everything else can be thrown away or sold and divided equally. is older than me. Alright, let's 
head back to the kitchen area. What are we drinking to? How did you end up with the police? What are we drinking to? Well, you're the expert. Sit down and make a toast. So how did a slum girl get this job? Maybe you got yours. I had to work for it. I had a bit of a head start thanks to my sports career, but it didn't come out of nowhere either. From a previous life, I earned it. Mmm, you must have had a hard time. Okay, did our department come for Taylor? One room is well secured. Have you read Chicken of Justice? Did our department come for Taylor? Yes. So why... Did I join you? Maybe I wanted to take control? Of some sort. I decided I was never going to be powerless like that again. I'm just a liaison, but I already know when and where they move. Our job sucks, huh? At least it slightly improves your chance of survival. This one room, the bedroom, is totally secure. It's a slum, but I gotta be able to close my eyes sometimes. It's possible to break in there with enough effort, but I'd have time to be awake and ready. Never watch any westerns? No. What are they about? Well, you'd love them. I think you'd identify with the characters. <laughs> Uh, files with names, have you read? <sighs> In the middle of the room was a bunch of files with names. Can't you respect anyone else's <laughs> privacy? I said none of the siblings knew. If something went wrong, I prepared myself for it. But what's one have to do with the other? I sorted things out for them and left a will that made it clear I believed Taylor and I would be in heaven at the bank. Hmm. Looks like you covered all the bases work thanks I try what's going on with your siblings now I hope this isn't a tough question Sarah how are Max Dario and Peter now I wasn't talking I saw the name on the cabinets Did they don't worry they're all alive and doing pretty well they rented a legal apartment floor 40 they have better air than here. Bodies wear out slower. Have you read Chicken of Justice? There is no way you know this. The last of his kind. He could give up, but he fights for a better world for the rest of us. A true hero. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. My brother Dario was crazy about him. <laughs> Uh... I already like this kid. The chicken is only one step away from detective stories. Alright, make a toast. Bottoms up. Uh, honesty. Okay. Honesty. I think we're gonna need it. <laughs> what are you renting the body for? What are you renting the body for? Surrogate. For some rich broad. A good one, I hope. Where did you get the body this body from? Have you thought what you uh what would happen to the baby? Sarah, tell me it's not Jane Salma. Hmm. Sarah, please tell me it's not Jane Salma. I found her file. Ugh, calm down. I checked her. I got to her. <laughs> she had a similar case before, and they couldn't prove anything, even with plenty of evidence. Oh, damn it. The arrangement came from me. She had the dough, I had the body with the right biological conditions, plus I could cover for her. That's why I know she's not a suspect. Uh, Are you 
fucking nuts? Oh, I hit the wrong one. I'm risking everything for you, shithead. Do you understand that? The whole world doesn't revolve around you. I don't think the whole world. So trust me, like I trusted you. All right. So you rendered your body. Where did you get this one? said it was recycled. Give one to me. No. A recycled body? After what I've seen, that's hard to swallow. You must have put someone on ice for you to get it. No, no, no. Somebody bought a new body, and no one wanted this one. We can scan the shell and check. There's no need, really. Let's not. You sure you know what you're doing? You need to see the big picture of what you've gotten yourself into. James, I have nightmares. Every single fucking night. I see her in them. Welcome to the club. Every morning, I wake up from them and Taylor can't. And it haunts me. What if she's trapped there in an endless nightmare? It's not sleep when you're in the bank. It's nothingness. You don't feel anything. Like transferring in CTC? I remember what you said. And you remember that I'd still choose the bank? James, I have to save her! Fuck! Ouch. You understand? I get it. Sometimes you have to cross the line. And if you do it, please make it for someone you love. Well, I don't know if that's what I want. You know what I'd give to see Rachel again? Fucking anything. Thanks for being straight with me. Press your finger. I can handle it. Okay. Hmm, oh, this one's not that long. Okay, frozen memories. Research by an independent scientist and social activist. Be Kelmers, yeah, we'll go ahead and say Kelmers, proves that memory disorders increase in proportion to each year spent in the memory bank. CTC director George Boyle declined to comment. An official sources say authorities have initiated proceedings against Kelmers. F uh, fearing censorship, Kelmers is publishing his research in our newspaper. Identity at risk. Professors R. Pravitt and D. Sinburn argue that Icarite transplantation does not guarantee continuity of identity. The Icarite rebuilds a functional organization specific to the functioning of each individual in a new body, recreating it only to the extent that the new biological environment allows it. This is why synchronization is so difficult for some people. All right, Dreaming Icarites. Memory bank scans by an activist group that wishes to remain anonymous show traces of frozen Icarite activity. Does this mean that even disembodied Icarites can feel or think? Can they dream? All right. And you? Why do you become a cop? Uh, it's not worth talking about. I've always liked crime mysteries. Is that a thing for crime mysteries? So... Sure. Who doesn't? Is that all? Well, I guess I had some ideals too. I believed in justice and shit like that. But you don't anymore? As much as ever. I'm just not looking for it in the department. Copy that. It's time to move the investigation forward. Sarah, we need to start investigating. <clears throat> Just a minute, not so fast. One more question, a basic one. Yeah. Why don't you tell me why you stormed in here like a lunatic? 
I told you, I thought you were in danger. Based on what? Did something happen when we lost contact? Mm -hmm. Can you fire up the board here? No. Do it the old way, then. In the meantime, I'll summarize the Red Room for you. The Red Room? It's a piece of fucked up history. Better buckle up. Okay. I can't believe <sighs> all this evidence. <laughs> you were right from the start. Seriously? What surprises you most? That's not what I meant. But the murderer was behind everything from the beginning. Did he take over his body? Strong assumption. We better go one step at a time. Now? You're going to get skeptical now? I just want to sort it out. Okay. Where do we start? That's what I would like to know. James, I managed to get what was in Green's safe. There were recordings of his synchro tests and a ton of private notes. It's pretty unusual. Upload. Okay, let's just click on one of these. So taking over the body, do we have any indication the killer took control of Green? Uh, transfer machine. Green had an illegal consciousness transfer machine kept in a secret room under the foyer. So transfer machine. I can't even get my shit together after three. This explains his problems. They were his own doing. Both died on dates shown on the symbols. The problem is that Green's date of death was carved long ago. Why didn't we have access to these recordings? They were in the Red Room. I'll try to get to them. The meaning of intrigue. What was the point of a plot that inked Green's case to the Icarus? Well, guys, I'm getting tired. What was the point of a plot that linked Green's case to the Icarus shooting? Oh, man. I learned this was the plan for the next hundred years. Numerous attempts to save what we have in this system. And our system isn't perfect? At least for them. It turns out not to be the case. Apparently, every prediction ended in disaster. Fucking Dimmer. Oh, haven't heard that before. Good to know you still have feelings for them. How did you describe it? That you're losing control of yourself? Mm hmm it's a kind of consciousness erosion. We'll increase the dose of ambrosia and the amount of synchro tests. It should help. I need something better. We don't have anything else yet. I'm working on it. It's one big joke. Selma sounds familiar, don't you think? Shit. I thought she was going to get herself a synthesizer. I'm getting used to the big names of the corpses at our feet. What are they doing there? Apart from the obvious. Together, they worked on how to calm the riots, how to use the Fourth Estate. Who knows if they would have failed. Dickheads. Lots of familiar faces, but compared to Green, they're small fry. It's their mouth that spits out lies that millions eat up. I still don't get that part of the story. When I think that they really use the... the motherfucker's dead everyone like him deserved it all right so taking over the body do we have any indication the killer took control of green did i already tried this one on that there we go conclude analysis it take to set up something like that I don't know <laughs> but we need to figure out who's pulling the strings and all of this okay James aren't you afraid your memories will eventually fade away mm. I don't dwell on that I've had plenty on my mind right Let's try to draw conclusions. Okay. Let's try to draw some conclusions. 
It all comes down to one question. Could Green really be a puppet? I thought so, but the more I watch the Red Room and foyer footage, the more I doubt it. Green, the way he gestures and talks to himself, he looks crazy. Talking to yourself doesn't mean you're crazy. You know what I mean, when he's waving his arms and hurting himself. But I have no idea what taking over a body would look like. Fuck, I don't know. Which one of them was behind this, Green or the killer? The more important the decision, the less certain. We're out of time for mistakes. The murderer is behind it all. Green was behind it all. Hmm. I don't know. Let's say the murderer. He's a murderer. Green's death wouldn't make sense. He must have been influencing for a long time until he finally got him to shoot the other deviants. Damn influential deviants. He took another harvest on Icarus. And if he's aiming to paralyze the city, to create chaos, so... What's his next step? The motherfucker leaves no trace. The trail's cold. Why haven't we heard of him before? He's a pro, after all. Hmm. Criminals are still in their learning curve when they do their first crimes. They leave more traces behind. I'll check similar poisoning cases in recent years. Hmm. Oh, poison may have been removed from reports. Check the final death. Very interesting. Oh, I think I have something. Two weeks. No. Shit. I was wrong. Forget it. Sarah, rewind. I think he recognized something. No, you can't touch your own case or reconstruct it or explain it. You can't defend yourself. I'm the only one who can. Oh, the fucking savior of the world. Can't you let go just this once? You no. know the answer. Damn you. Hang on. I have to... What's this? A new airpiece. Mm. This one shouldn't be so easy to spot. Huh. Thanks. Oh, here we go again. I wonder if this will end the same way of us getting drug underwater again. It looks like it. Oh, yep. Oh. I feel like we we've gotten closer this time. Oh, and now, yep. Oh, that sucks. Looking in the mirror at yourself, sometimes the scariest thing imaginable. But it was time to face myself on my own, without dragging anyone else down. Alright, so that was part three of Nobody Wants to Die. Uh, this game does not disappoint it keeps getting better and better i cannot wait to continue on to the next part to uh to see what happens uh i cannot wait to complete this game and go ahead and cross it off the list of games i have played on this channel uh this game is amazing it does not disappoint like i said uh i'm just hooked i'm hooked on this game um but yeah all of that aside i hope you all enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up i would really really appreciate it and consider sticking around and subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already and i hope to see you all next time